Got football in focus, teed up indoors on Battleground, Thursday night broadcast, talking high school football. Sam Bagley with us in Northern Guilford. Yes, sir. Sam, good to see you. Big Sam is with us. Sam weighs around 300 pounds, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did the weight drop down any when the season got going in the summer, all that hot, sweaty work you guys are doing? Or does it say it's about the same? Uh, so I started about 310 this summer. Okay. Um, and then I got those, you know, like you said, hot, sweaty workouts. Yeah. I'm sitting about 290, 295 right now. Not bad. So you've lost on down a little bit. Then. Yes, sir. Slimmed down a little bit. Before got we my... got going full steam, like we were talking about uh, how long you've been with this varsity team. You said maybe all the way back to your ninth grade year. Yes, sir. So the first time I started on varsity was my last game of my freshman year against Grimsley. Mm, that was a great way to start things off, huh? It was. It was. I was uh, going against Jod Jarrett. Oh, Jarrett from Georgia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, Jamal Jarrett going against him your first game. Yes, Swinney was right right alongside me, actually. Are you guys in the same grade? So he's a year older than me. He's a senior then. Yes, sir. You're I'm a junior. junior. Wow, so you guys are side by side all the way back then. Oh, yeah. That's oh, been yeah. a good combination. We call you guys the Night Hogs. Yes, sir. The yes, Night sir. Hogs. That is one way to put it. Could call them the uh, Hawk Hogs. I like the Night Hogs better. Night Hog sounds like Night Hog. It has, has a good ring to it. Yeah, I like Rolls it. And Coach tongue. Westberg agreed with me last Friday night when we were doing the pregame pre interview. I see these guys are like Hogs, like the Redskins players. Yeah, they're gritty, they're determined, they get down and dirty, get the job done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We get it done. We, uh, you know, we drive our feet, we get, get our man off the ball, and do make you, things happen. Do you get the big pancake going sometimes? Of course. Yeah. Of course. You know, what's, what's football without pancakes? Yeah, you got to try to finish that block off and put the guy on his back if you can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And sometimes you may want to lay on him a little while, too, to make sure he doesn't get back up. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can't. I don't think he'd call that for holding if you're knocking a guy down, just kind of be on the ground in a position like that where you're keeping him down. Uh, what do you like most about playing offensive line? My favorite part, I think, is the, the brotherhood that we have. Our starting five, we're really close. Hmm. Uh, you know, we're pretty good friends. We even we hang out um, after school a lot of the time. You and guys get like a, any meals during the week together? Go places. <laughs> so actually, our tradition is on Thursdays we'll go to Mizumi Sushi. Huh. It's all you can eat sushi, and we'll just yeah. we'll take down. down some sushi. Throw yes, down sir. On sushi. Wow. You yes, guys sir. got any uh, any outfits you guys wear? Like different caps, different clothes, different shirts. You guys wear the same thing like that? Um, depends on. During the game, usually we'll we'll have a, a little theme going. Oh, a theme? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or like a T-shirt or something like so that? So, like, like last week, a lot of us uh, will wear ski masks. Oh, during the game? Yes, sir. Wow. I mean, you don't have, like, the eye, cut-out eye type ski, do you? It's like the, we have a, it's yeah, a strip. Just, just the top. Yes, sir. Yeah, like yes, the sir. guy, I see those kids wearing those now a lot, even the middle school kids, like the old skull cap kind of type oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because a few years back, this was just kind of interesting, I thought, this East Surrey team, you've heard of them probably, East Surrey, up toward the mountains, where they had a great state championship team, had those offensive linemen, and they all would wear cowboy hats, like cowboy kind of guys. Where yeah. those cowboy hats out there when they're playing ball? Let me ask you this. Unbeaten to start the season. What are you guys doing right, you think, that makes this unbeaten season click right now? Um, I think we're just, we're all working as a unit, you know. We're finding that, that rhythm. We're getting it going, and we're, uh, you know, we got good running backs behind us. Yeah. Our O-line especially, we're, we're moving our guys. We know our assignment, and we're getting it done. Do you, I mean, uh, you guys got like a sled? They still do the sled? Yes, sir. Drills? Yes, sir. Oh, nothing like driving the old sled. Oh, yeah. Do you ever like, I mean, one of our thrills back as a kid playing some line was trying to knock the coach off the sled, hit it so hard. You guys ever get in that kind of determined mode of like that? Of course. Every oh, that's day. good to hear. Every that's day. Yes, sir. get that honestly because if you ever knock that coach, when he gets knocked back, he knows you guys are popping that sled oh, yeah. pretty hard. Oh, yeah. We're and popping you, it. You're getting something out of it, too. Yes, sir. For sure. Uh, who are the team leaders? You got to be one of them. Who else are team leaders? Um, I'd say. Uh, me and Swinney are definitely leaders on the O-line. Um, Jackson does a great job of commanding the whole team. Mm -hmm. um, Charlie Griffin, oh, he's yeah. a great leader on our Deep defensive defense line. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I'd say Kevin Willoughby, he's a great guy. He was a uh, good know, leader last Friday night, two interceptions. He goes both ways. Yeah. He's, he had he's, a big game uh, catching the ball, Willoughby, against... Uh, you beat 63 nothing. Who'd you guys beat? That was Southwest. Southwest. Yes, sir. Yeah, a big game receiving. And oh, last yeah. week comes back on defense, so he's a good all-around player. Oh, yeah, really. he's, he's, he's good. Who else has the C's by their name? Anybody else you can think of? Um, like leaders and captains? Let's see. I'd say Aramie Mack. Yeah, good, he was a, I love watching that guy play. Especially, oh, yeah. He's really, I saw him for the first time, I think, in that Southeast Guilford game. That's a fun game to watch because it's in the mud, mud, blood, and all that crazy oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he was catching big tight end passes. He missed a couple, too, but you know those are passes he can catch. So yes, sir. That's going to work out. Of course, out. yeah. Who's been your biggest football influence over the years? For Sam Bagley. Over big the offensive years. lineman for Northern Guilford. Yes, sir, for me. Um, that'd probably be our coach, uh, Kobe Mitchell. Huh. He used to play at Greensboro College. Hmm. Yes, sir. So. Wow, interesting. Yeah, he's been a big influence on me. Uh, really influenced my technique. And well, Grimsley got one of the guys that used to coach for you guys. He also played at Greensboro College. 
I uh, can't remember that guy's name, but he was a, he's a big dude coaching at Grimsley now. He was a former Northern Guilford assistant coach for many years. So he's been the big influence. Anybody else influence you as far as that goes? Um, so I watch a lot of BYU football, and uh, okay. Connor Pay, their center, he's, he's mm. been a big influence on me. you got to watch those centers now. Yes, sir. Is Jackson under center much or usually all kind of back? Usually right we'll go – our wedge play will go under center. Right. But yeah. other than that, we're shotgun. Straight at it. Yes, you sir. you got to make that perfect snap. Yes, sir, of course. Boy, I see some games. Those kids are snapping up over the quarterback's head. Just makes I've had crazy. some games like that. Yeah. Really? Back that in your South, younger days? That Southeast game. This I year? Actually, yes, well, sir. Well, it's because of the weather probably, right? Yes, sir. Yes, it was sir. Wet. Oh, man, that was a wet night. I'll tell you. Oh, that's, that was like three weeks ago tonight. I'm oh, always yeah. going to keep that in my head. I'm going to think about I'm gonna think about that game probably for about the next couple of months, at least or more. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Yeah, hey, field goal kicker. Other than him, oh, the yeah. guys aren't there. I love our kickers, man. Yeah. They're Gardardo. They're stellar. Gardado or Gardardo, man, that kid can kick. How do oh, you yeah. pronounce it? Uh, Gallardo, I think. Gallardo. Yes, sir. It's yes, tough. Sir. Cody. Tough. Tough. Uh, talk about those night hogs one more time at offensive line. You got yourself. You got Sweeney. Who else? Let's see. Uh, my left guard, Eddie Getty. He's Eddie a great. Getty. Yeah, I like that. He gets name. great push. He gets really low. Um, our left tackle, we have a young guy, MJ Smith. He's a sophomore, but he's big. He's big and he's strong. He's fast. He's an athlete. And then our right tackle, we have T.J. King. Uh, both of my tackles haven't been playing O-line for very long, but they really stepped it up this year, and they're getting it done. I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm keep you all night. we got the other guys who do it. One question about you, though, because you're big enough to handle these questions and thinking about these positions. You watch like the Carolina Panthers. We're going to move Brady Christensen from guard to center. Could you move from center to another position and play it automatically? I, I think I could. Yeah. I think I could. But which one do you think they move you to first, guard uh, or tackle? They'd, they'd, they'd put me at guard for sure. Would they really? Yes, sir. Is yeah. the guard similar, more similar to the center blocking? It, it is. Yeah. Tackle, it's a completely, it's more like tight end. Tight ends and tackle, tackles okay. are really similar. Yeah. yeah. That tight tight scheme of block in there, I guess. Yes, sir. Any pulling? No, no pulling by the center, right? Uh, I pull a little bit, yeah. Do you really? Yes, sir. Mm. I, I get up and I get out of there. Huh? Right or left, you get that little sweep going. Of course, of course. Get that downfield block and make that guy so mad he'll be talking to you in your sleep, or in his <laughs> sleep. Uh, if you could slip Coach Westberg into a game at a position, where would you line him up to play? Uh, you know, he used to play quarterback. Did he really? Yes, sir. Yeah, so I, I'd love to have Coach Westberg at quarterback. He should be a good offensive coordinator then. Play yeah, caller. yeah. Mix it, and how about that? Whew, before we forget everything, just flashbacks last week. How about that NASCAR offense? That hot, hot, hot tempo offense. Yes, you guys sir. That's where week. we get them. Uh, we're yeah. some big fellas up front, but we can. We're in shape, and we can. We can well, get that it done. Tempo was quick to start oh, the yeah. game, man. You guys would not stop once you got going. It worked out yes, perfectly. Yes, sir. We too. start marching, and we just keep going. Mm, so. Right down the field. Uh, Best college football team you like watching? BYU with the center? Yes, sir. I love watching. Yeah, BYU. Cougars. Yeah. Undefeated. Really? Yes, they sir. haven't got much pub about that either. Yes, sir. I think uh, we're talking a lot of different directions, but I think Indiana Hoosiers are unbeat what I hear. I think so, well. too. Yes, Signetti, sir. Signetti, the coach used to be at James Madison, went yeah. out there. Doing very well there. Uh, best football player to ever come out of Northern Guilford? Let's see. That's a great question. Uh, I've, Terrell Timmons is a big name that comes to mind. Recently, yeah. yeah. He's up there at Colorado. Um, Will Leonard, yeah, very big, good quarterback, and uh, well, of course, Keenan Allen. Absolutely, can't forget about him. And uh, one more. Uh, so, well, I can name a couple more. We got Froge up at. Uh, yeah, well, he was at Wake Forest. Wake Forest, time. yes, sir. And then we There's got one other guy you leaving out. I think you should probably get in here. Vance. No, Vance Bolliard at Vance Bolliard's at Duke. Yeah, There's um, another guy you leaving out. Where's that, he playing? That little running back. <laughs> Eight touchdowns in one game. Jaden or Jordan? No. Eight touchdowns in one game. Oh, um, Catholic. what's his name? He's playing the pros, I think you know he's hanging out somewhere. Gosh, I'm drawing, I'm drawing a blank here. His um, first name is two letters. I got two letters for you. It, oh, TJ Logan. There you go. You yeah, got there it. There it is. I'm Gosh. I'm drilling that out of you somehow. It's post practice, you know. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're still a little tired. unclear. Uh, have you ever heard of GreensboroSports.com before tonight? I have. I have. I have. Huh. Raise a hand. We got one in the house. <laughs> yes, sir. Gotta love that. That's good. That's good. Because Sam's name has been called a lot on our broadcast over the years. And right about you and Sweeney, Sweeney has become like a household name sometimes around the area. Yes, sir. Uh, favorite pregame meal? Uh, the sushi? Not the sushi. I wish. Uh, my favorite pregame meal is I'll get Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's sub. Yes, what sir. What kind of sub do you get? Big club guy. Big club guy. Big get sub. it Mike's way. And, and eat it early enough before the game so it's not going to sit on your stomach at all during the game. Oh, yeah. So you already put that put that good food to good use yes, during sir. the game. Yes, sir. Of course. Uh, place you like to go after the game for the post game meal? Post game, we are at cookout. Cookout. Every time. On battleground. Yes, sir. Wow. No one to find you guys on Friday night. Yes, sir. I think I've we'll seen be some people there. Uh, it gets too. it gets a little rowdy sometimes. Oh, I bet it does. Yeah. Huh? Sit down or the one up the street. 
The one up the street. Right up here from us? Or the sit-down one, yes, You go the sit-down one in? Yes, sir. You go down at Westridge? Yeah. Westridge, yeah. Well, you at least have to stand outside and wait to, for your order to be taken. You guys oh, are inside. I go through the drive through You do? Big drive through guy. You go through the drive through yes, You sir. stay there and eat or take it home? After that game, I, I'll, I'll park and I'll eat it. Park it in the lot. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Good stuff. Sam Bagley getting some good words from Sam. Now, he goes to the Westridge Road location. Ever been to Herbie's up on Battleground? Of course. Love that place. Huh? Get another plug for Herbie's this week, too. Had a great breakfast. Week. Go to Herbie's. Man, you're not kidding. The, 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 the uh, hamburger steak meal, if you never tried it, try it. I will. Hamburger Next steak. Next time I'm there. You get the hash browns. You get the salad. You get the uh, Texas toast, whatever. Man, it's crazy. I just great had something like that quite That's a bit. a great meal. Uh, bonus question, your dream play in that game tomorrow night or any game. Your dream play, what would it be for you? Um, My dream play is we get a fumble. I pick it up and I... I Take it to the end zone. Call it to the end zone. Yes, sir. We'll recover one in the end zone for a touchdown. Yes, sir. That's a big play. I also listen here for a lineman, possibly a big pancake block. <laughs> yes, also, sir. here's pick up a fumble and take it to the house. So that's right in there, one of those <laughs> possibilities. Also, this is a little bit different, not quite as glamorous, but lead the offense on a game winning drive. That's kind of fun, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do that you know, every. Beat Northwest for the first time in a couple years last week. Yes, sir. Had to feel good. It did. It did for sure. It was a. It was a great victory. You know, we have a little bit of a rivalry going on. Very much so, yeah, course. without a so doubt. It's, How it's, do you cease the celebration and get ready for Paige and say, we got to get ready for Paige, guys. Come on, it's the Pirates this week. They beat Western by one, but got to go get these guys. Yes, sir. Our philosophy is we'll, we celebrate over the weekend, but on Monday, just forget about it. Hmm. Monday is back down to business. we got to focus on who we got. So when I say Paige, you say, let's go. Yes, sir. Sam Take Bagley, let's let you roll out here. Great job. I Wish we could talk more it, to you. I mean, you did such a good job. We're going to make a Sam Bagley videotape sometime for his own self. What is his own use? We should. Right, we should. Thank you, yes, Sam. Yes, sir. Let me know. Big yeah. leg here, too, man. That, oh, yeah. that leg could take your mom and break her in half. Oh, yeah. Got to that. protect that quarterback. Man, look at my little leg here. That's a small <laughs> leg compared to this. I used to play offensive line many, many moons ago, too. But, but for Sam, it's natural. Yes, sir. Natural. Thank you, Sam. Yes, sir. Thank you.